Merchants were incredibly important in the Elizabethan period because international trade really expanded very dramatically and there were opportunities for enterprising men with quite an appetite really for risk. Imports of things like um, luxury goods, sugar, uh, luxury cloth, uh, wine and spices grew really dramatically in this period and merchants responded to the opening of new markets, particularly in the Middle East and also the East Indies. But these men, I think you might think of them almost as the forefathers of the capitalist economy, and they put the country on a really stable economic footing. There was also considerable criticism, though, of mercantile culture, particularly among the clergy. And there was criticism that the import of luxury goods was fueling a cycle of envy and pride, debt, and of course greed that went round and round. And it's a culture, I suppose, that you might think is still with us today. Luxury goods bought on credit. As more merchants commission portraits throughout the Elizabethan period, I think it must have become a way to signal a certain type of status among the mercantile community. Hanging in their parlours, these portraits of really quite sober, uh, serious looking men would have helped establish their reputations as um, pious, dependable, honest, uh, individuals and it's particularly important in a world based upon credit that the right reputation was uh, established and that these men were seen essentially as credit worthy. Consequently you find quite a few of these merchants depicted with skulls or emblems of memento mori which emphasise their humility and their interest in Christian salvation over and above their interest in worldly gain.